Hey out there legal warriors, one of the worst things a parent can go through is having their child charged with a crime. Now I have some very important factors to consider to help you get through that difficult situation. So if you're interested in this area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Freiberg, and I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years. And I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this video useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. I have been practicing for more than 20 years, and I so many times have seen the most well-meaning parents at a loss for what to do when they're adult child or young adult child is charged with a crime. In this video, I'm going to cover three factors that I want any parent to know in navigating this difficult situation. So what's factor one? Factor one is do whatever you can to not make it worse. And what do I mean by that? Well, I can uh, think of so many times I've seen a parent come in to the office with a 16 year old, a 17 year old, a 20 year old, a 25 year old, and they might be sitting there in front of me and everything the parent says, the child um, is really listening to. They uh, feel every barb and every disappointment and every uh, put down that's not meant as a put down. So it's important to really uh, be careful with your words. Um, when uh, anybody is charged with a crime, they feel much worse than you can imagine, right? Um, the, the entire world is judging them. Uh, obviously, the parental units might be judging them, and the court is going to judge them. And so it's important to stay as positive as possible and say as little as possible when you're in there with a defense attorney trying to figure out what to do. I really appreciate it when a parent comes along to a meeting with uh, their child who's charged with a crime because it, they're a great resource. You can be a great resource for the defense attorney to say things that the young person won't about what their background is or why they might be in this situation or some good things about them they not be, may not be willing uh, to share themselves. But I can also see situations and have seen them where the parent will say, I can't believe my kid did this, or he's just not this type of boy, or she's just not this type of girl. And I always told them to not do this. All this scolding and these things that can just make the child shrink and make it even worse. And one of the things that we do in our office for anybody is I always ask somebody, what does their support system look like? I don't say it that way. I might say, hey, do you live alone or with other people? And who do you live with? And a child might say, well, I live with my parents. And then I'll ask them, what do they sound like, right? What do they sound like when they talk about this case? Do they sound like, oh no, you've ruined your life? Do they sound like, how could you do this? You've disappointed me? Or, hey, we're gonna get through this together. And I prefer that third option. Hey, we're gonna get through this together. So it's really important to try to put aside um, your own fear and your own feelings because you're terrified for your child. Um, most parents are and they're part of you and so it feels very personal. But if you want to help in this criminal system, um, do what you can to keep your words to a minimum and keep your words positive and also try to help inform the defense attorney um, about you know what's going on in that young person's life. So that's factor one. Try not to make it worse. Factor two that I really encourage parents is to try to provide as many resources as you can for your child during this criminal process. Oftentimes, if you watched other videos, treatment, classes, things like that are necessary to get the best possible result in a case. And let's face it, young people often don't have those resources. They may not have a job, they may be in school, um, you know, they may be living at home. And so oftentimes a parent uh, in some cases may have already be at their wits end but, and don't wanna provide any more resources. But if you have that ability to help pay for a treatment class or have the insurance cover some type of educational class, alcohol or drug treatment, anger management, things like that, it's really important because not only will it help the case, it can also help benefit the young person in the education they can get. 
And so uh, not everybody has that available to them, a parent who can help them. And so if you happen to be in the situation where you think you can help uh, your child with resources to follow what the defense attorney needs uh, the young person to do, uh, it's really, really important. And I know I'm always very grateful when uh, those resources are available. If they're not available, there are you know, state funded things that you know, a firm can point to, but as a parent, it's, it's what you want uh, to think about is, hey, what am I willing to do to help uh, turn this negative into a positive that doesn't wreck you know, our, our child's life? I think the third factor um, that I want to cover here is the opposite side, which is enabling. Enabling the young person to keep messing up. Let's say the young person has an alcohol or drug problem. Um, and uh, it's, it's important that we don't enable that to continue to happen, that we don't have alcohol available, that we aren't uh, you know, um, you know, telling them it's okay to go to a party, that we're not looking the other way when they consume alcohol or drugs. What I always want to see happen, if I have one of my young clients going off the rails, I'm not going to know that. Right? I'm not going to know because I'm not living with them. I'm not in contact with them. It's always very helpful for a parent to get a hold of my firm, tell the attorney, hey, this is what's going on. Uh, with uh, the client, the young person, right? And because if they need correction, what you might find is apparent that the attorney is more likely to be able to correct them than you are. What I have learned throughout my life growing up is the people that want to help us the most, we can often hear the least. And that goes for our parents. The people that love us the most, we can often hear the least. So that young person may not hear uh, mom or dad saying it's important not to drink, they may take that as scolding. But coming from the attorney, we don't have that loaded relationship, right? When we're tiny little infants, we pay such close attention to our parents, to every move they make. Um, you know, it's biological because we need to keep the parents happy for survival, for food and shelter. And so that's why we internalize everything. We blame ourselves for everything. And so as we get older, um, we carry that with us, right? Um, when uh, that parent says something to us, uh, it carries all the, the ammo, the, the uh, baggage from the past you know, 20 years of a relationship, however long it's been. So sometimes that correction coming from an attorney um, where it's not quite as loaded will have more effect. And we can confidently say what's gonna happen. If you keep this up, you're going to jail. If you keep this up, X, Y, Z. And for us, it's a new messenger and often it's a different message. So along those same lines, you know, um, it's important to not just also excuse everything a uh, young person does and make excuses for them, right? It's, it's important that we take a look and see what happened and we pay, keep a positive attitude and, and chart that path forward to a way out. So out of all the three factors, I think the most important one is the first one. I've seen so many young people shrink and collapse in front of me when a parent doesn't even intend it, when they're so activated and worked up about the situation that this young person is not equipped to handle it, okay? When I see that, I'm gonna have the parent step out, or I'm gonna you know, deal with the young person myself individually, but overall, I want you as a parent to think of yourself as an asset, to check yourself and realize that your own anxiety and stress um, may rub off on the child and I would tell the young person, hey, uh, you know, look where it's coming from. They're stressed because they love you and they care what happens to you, but I want you to pay attention to that, right? So if you found this useful, um, I'm glad. Uh, it's a very difficult situation. If so, please like and subscribe. And more importantly, if you have a young person and child in trouble and you need some legal help, feel free to give, us, give my office a call. My law firm's been handling these difficult situations for more than 20 years. We'll listen to what happened, we'll identify a way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you.